Lucas Patrick injury update plus more. What up, guys? Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears and breaking down everything from training camp. We have an update on Lucas Patrick's injury as well as word on what the offensive line looks like for today's practice, who is lining up where. So let's get into it. First up is Lucas Patrick, our veteran center who I expect to be a leader on this offensive line left practice yesterday with an undisclosed injury. News broke this morning that Patrick requires surgery on his right hand. Immediately when I saw he needed surgery, I was very worried. When I read it's his right hand though, some of my optimism came back. Yeah, he does use his right hand to snap the ball, but with offensive linemen, lower body injuries are always much, much worse. It's never great when one of your leaders on the offensive line gets injured, but there is a positive spin we can take on this one. Lucas Patrick is a veteran. The injury shouldn't keep him out of the meeting rooms, and he can still attend practice. Also, I believe there's definitely a chance he makes it back before the season starts. We still have five plus weeks here, and a hand injury definitely is not as bad as a lower body injury when it comes to an offensive lineman. I hope Patrick heals up quickly because we could sure use him out there. In the meantime, though, this has opened the door for Doug Kramer to get in some more valuable first-team reps. I was curious if it would be Mustafer or Kramer out there today. Coach Flus gave Cody Whitehair a Veterans Day off, and we went with the rookie interior offensive line, starting the day off, coming out lined up with left tackle Riley Reef, left guard Zachary Thomas, center Doug Kramer, right guard Jatari Carter, and Larry Borum at right tackle. So we had Reef and Borum at the tackle spots and the rookies on the interior line. I do expect Sam Mustafer to probably get some rotation in today as well as Braxton Jones and Schofield as well. But I love seeing the rookies get first team reps. Evan Jenkins is missing from practice again. Also missing is Thomas Graham Jr. Both for the second straight day. I would say there's a chance that either guy could be sick have personal issues, or even COVID. Remember, COVID is still a thing. I'm not worried about either guy yet. Fans and media are doing their best job of overreacting, and I imagine that will only get worse with today's Lucas Patrick news. Final note, if Patrick would have gotten hurt before we signed Riley Reef and Schofield, I would have been really worried. With other veterans on the line now and the injury being short-term, I'm not too worried if Kramer or Mustafer have to start a game or two. Not ideal, and you guys know I'm not a huge Musty fan, but for now I like that Kramer is getting some reps, and I'm optimistic that Lucas Patrick can return before the season opener versus the 49ers. Stay tuned, I will be back with more training camp coverage. Day 3 of practice is underway right now. I hear Equinemius St. Brown is making some big catches. Hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.